Angels say, In the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. Love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word. Perhaps, despite everything, certain doors in your life have closed. Be assured that God is moving you to fulfill his purpose for your life. God knows what it takes to make your life orderly. Rely on him. The kingdom of God is more than just a location where people reside. It is also the activities that take place there. The implication is that God is involved in every aspect of our existence. We are all welcomed into this kingdom. We are all invited to join it or leave it behind forever. Together, as we develop and learn from one another, I want us to appreciate life. It may seem unusual to you that God would say something like this, yet it is true. People abandoned you and wrote you off when your circumstances changed. You not only survived the hurricane, but you also developed during it. You are unique. You weren't made by me to blend in. I made you to be distinctive. I'm about to bless your fidelity right now. You have to believe. There are numerous explanations for this, but I'll simply list three of them here. First, you can't please God without faith. It is impossible to please God without faith. Jesus, you see, entered this earth as both the Son of God and the Son of Man, and he was aware of what it was like to be subjected to sin, Satan, and both. Before he could overcome those temptations, he had to go through those things. You are about to experience heights you never even imagined were possible because of me. Keep in mind how helpful I have been to you. Angels are saying to you, you must have faith in him if you wish to follow him and live with him forever. How can you possibly follow him if you don't have it? Second, we are unable to receive sin forgiveness or eternal life without trust in our Lord Jesus Christ. God says, I see your struggles and I hear your prayers. Whether you go to church or not, if God has been good to you, right? Amen. Be patient. Sometimes you have to go through the worst to get to the best. Jesus says to you, this then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. If you love Jesus and you are not ashamed, share this post and see what he will do for you. Do not misuse my love and forgiveness, please. Say no to drugs, fornication, and all other vices. Observe me once more, and you will be freed from all unrighteousness by me. I cherish you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Amen. If God brought you this far after everything you've been through, he can definitely take care of anything you are currently going through. Pray and trust. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.